so the first one is as you can see right now the first one in order to make this all changes we need to go to the option so first one we need to press over here on the escape and from here we have to navigate to the options and the first one go over here in the graphics so after going to the graphics over here you can see there is an option called graphics and if you click on this one you can see there are many options like low medium high ultra auto setting so right now you need to either change this to high or you can keep this to medium so let me keep this to medium you can either keep this to medium or you can keep this to high so it depends most probably i'm recommending you guys you can keep this on medium once afterwards go to the ray tracing make sure the ray tracing is turned off it is very important going to the additional options over here as you can see most probably it will be either in, in amd nvidia most users used to keep this on nvidia even the beginning of the game when i used to play i have kept this to the nvidia but right now i changed this to amd in order to make few tweaking on the games in order to make optimization so uh, right now which i'm recommending you guys is you can either keep this to you can keep this to quality but right now we don't have uh, just keep this to over here you can keep the uh, first one you can keep this to nvidia and move into the dlss you have many options like you know dlaa balance and performance ultra performance i recommend you can keep this on quality regarding the vsync which is one of the main reason many users is having is, uh, issue always make sure this is turned off you have to turn this off and also regarding the nvidia reflex low latency you have to turn this off as well just turn this off and move into the frame generations if this is turned on for example if the frame generation generation is turned on actually it is grayed out for me because i made this over here for nvidia so if i change this to amd we can see this it is actually visible for me but i'll keep this to nvidia for the same so if the nvidia for, uh, for the frame generation if it is turned on we have to turn this off and also regarding the ray reconstruction we have to turn this off as well move to the next one this is maximum frame rate always try to keep this on 16 fps and we have to move a little bit down and we have to move to the next one that is over here over here as you can see the motion blur which is a very important step so if the motion blur is actually on you have to turn this off after cross checking all these things you have to navigate to the display and uh, over here as you can see most people used to keep this on full screen so you have to change this to borderless window just change, change this to uh, you have to change this to borderless window and once after it has been done you have to go over here in the resolution if it is set into 4k you have to change this to 19281080 but right now hence it is in borderless window this is actually grayed out for me and also you have to make sure that it is quite important that you have to set the field of view you can either keep this to 90 or you can keep this to a little bit lower so it depends upon your configurations and your thing and once after everything is fine you're fine with it just go back after doing all these things and you can try continue playing the game so this is what we have to do so once after done with this one you can still continue playing the game and still if you're having the trouble while playing the game if it's still it's not working what you need to do is we can make few more changes so just follow the next instruction which i'm showing in this video the first one when you're having this trouble all we have to do is we just need to do a restart on your system so just go over here in the start icon over here and go to the power icon over here and go for a restart once afterwards try launch the game and this is what we have to do so it is very important that we have to launch the game and that will be working fine so uh, try with a simple restart is what we have to say in the first and if that is not working we can move to the next one that is all about we need to launch the game from the uh, installation folder not from the steam this did work for many users so sometimes when we launch the game from Steam, that is why we are having the crashing issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. For this, we just need to go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties and we have to go to the install it file and just click on the browse. Now from here, what we need to do is we just need to go over here and this is the folder that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, the first descended Steam beta. Now from here, this is what it looks like. Now we have to launch the game from here. So this particular step did work it for many users. Instead of launching it from the, uh, you know, I have to say, instead of launching it from the Steam, we have to launch it from the 
in Stan Shefoli. It did work it for the games like, you know, Spider-Man, Morales, Roman and 2, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart, and even for the game, including the Payday 3. So once afterwards, try to launch the game. If that is not working, we can try two more steps in the installation folder that is all about. We can run the game as an administrator. So right click over here and go to the show more options and we have to go to the properties, click on the compatibility and click on run this program as an administrator. Go for apply and go for ok and try launching the game and that will be working fine. And also you can try running the game in the compatibility mode if that is not working. Go over here right click, go to the show more options and go to the properties, click on the compatibility and click on run this program in the compatibility mode. And if you're on Windows 7, go over here and try launch the game and if you're on Windows 8, we can go over here and go for the apply, go for ok and try launching the game and that will be working fine. So even if the issue is still there, we can try with few more steps. That is all about we need to make sure, you know, uh, we have to set the date, time and region should be correct. For this, we just need to go over here in the search. Now from here, we have to navigate to settings over here and we have to go to time and language. Go to the date and time. Make sure the time and time zone should be correct. This is very important. We have to turn this on and we have to go back and we have to go to language and region. Now from here, we have to make sure the country and region should be correct. So over here, you can see, uh, you know, uh, if this is, uh, if you're from United States, select United States. If you're from United Kingdom, select United Kingdom. And we have to set this up. And once you set this up, we just need to close this and we have to go back and we just need to try launching the game. So even if it's still, it's not working, do not panic. We have many steps which can be done. And one among them is we have to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. And this did work it for many users. So you can try this out. So just click on the play button and you have to press Alt and Tab together because it is going to work for you and it did work for many users you can try this out as well. And even after still the issues there we can try with you know deleting the saved game file for this we just need to go over here in the file explorer and we have to go over here in this PC go to the documents and if you find the uh, in a game over here or in the my games folder you can delete it and keep in mind when you do this when you delete the games it will be losing all the progressions of the game and you have to keep in mind and once even after trying with this try launching the game from the scratch and that will be working fine as well because it did work it for many users you can try this out next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to windows security which is very important for this we just need to go over here in the search we have to go over here in the control panel we have to go to system and security go for windows defender firewall go for allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall and keep scrolling down and navigate to the game so hence it is in uh, starting with the t we have to check whether it's over there or not we can uh, check over here so just navigate to t so uh, most probably it will be there so hence it is an alphabet keeps scrolling down and navigate to over here so right now as we can see the first descendant crossplay beta it is already added the first descendant is already added make sure the pub private and public should be checked that is very important that we have to check it so if it is not checked we have to check it which is very important and even after cross checking this both has to be checked and imagine the game is not here if that is the case we have to add it by default for this just click on the change settings we have to go for allow another app go for browse Go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go for Steam, go for Steam apps, go for common and uh, from here we have to scroll down and navigate to the game the first uh, descendant Steam beta, select this one and go for open and add it. So once you add this, once you set this up and we have to uh, go over here and we have to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the USB devices which is very important because you know uh, you know we might be connected with a lot of things in the system so remove everything even if a joy joystick control is logitech wheels remove everything launch the game after the game is successfully launched or just connect it back and try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search we have to go for system configuration go to the services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok and they're going to ask you for restart so if you are uh, over here as you can see if uh, if it is you can go for restart but i'm going to go for exit without restart because uh, we are shooting here in the middle of videos i'm going to go for exit without restart 
Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uh, depart from this is all about we have to try disabling the steam overlay for this go to the game right click and we have to go to the properties and if this is enabled what we need to do is we just need to turn this off and we have to try launch the game and that will be working fine so for many of the users when they did it did work it for them so we can try this out and the next one is all about we have to close uh, and apart from this you can also try one more step that giving the command in the launch option so over here we have to give the command that is dx11 is the first command give the command dx11 and try launch the game if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and we have to try launch the game so either the dx11 or dx12 will be working fine so this did work it for many users you can try this out as well and it will working and it will be working fine and even if it's still it's not working we can move to the next one next one is all about we have to close the overlay application so uh, for this we just need to go over here in the game right click over here and we have to go to the task manager now from here what we need to do is as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background which is affecting the crashing so when we launch the game at the same time we are also launching this which is causing the crashing issue so we have to remove this so one by one so as you can see there are 46 background processes is running in the background so just remove everything one by one for example uh, the discord reward tuner msa afterburner all these are one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue so just remove everything from here once afterwards we just need to close this and we just need to go back try launching the game Next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for this we just need to go over here in the search and we have to go for graphics settings over here go to the graphics settings now from here we just need to go over here we need to add the game so just click on the browse now from here we just need to go to this pc go to local disc c go to program file x86 scroll down and navigate to steam and we have to go to steam apps and we have to go to common now from here scroll down and navigate to uh, the first descendant steam beta and we have to select this and go for add now from here we have to click this and go for option and set this to high performance and go for save this is very important this particular step is very important and we have to do this or else because we'll be having a lot of trouble so it is very important that we need to go over here so what we need to do is we just need to uh, do like this and once afterwards what we need to do is we just need to move to the uh, next step so next step is all about we need to increase the virtual memory so we just need to go over here and go to the view advanced system setting go to the advanced go to the settings once again go to the advanced once again go for change and over here you can see the page uh, should be if you uncheck this you will not be able to select the local disk because this has to be blank and select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size and set the value for initial size and the maximum size and initial size is 1.5 times the total time and the maximum size is three times the total time so we need a calculation because we need to do a calculator so just type your ram that is 32 gb and we have to multiply it with 1024 that brings you this and we have to multiply with 1.5 that is 14 and 152 so we just need to copy this particular value and we have to paste it and we have to go for the maximum size that is 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with 3 that is 98 3 not 4 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it and once you are done with this one just close everything and try launch the baby became uh, because increasing the virtual memory did work it for many users in my knowledge so you can try this out next one is we need to update the win uh, update the graphics card which is a very important one so i'll be giving you this and apart from this at the same time we need to update the windows as well so in order to update uh, update the windows what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the search go for settings now from here go to the windows update and make sure the windows is up to date or else you'll be having a lot of trouble so windows should be up to date when you're running these kind of games so even after trying with this it's still it's not working we need to update the graphics card so let me show you how to update it so we just need to go over here and this will be how it looks like for the nvidia so i'll be providing link in the description for both nvidia and the md driver so over here we have to go to this one so here we have to select the product type product series product operating system everything should be selected so the product type is geoforce and the product series should be selected and the product should be selected and the operating system is windows 11 and we have to go over here in the english and we have to select details and start search and now what happens is if you check You'll be getting this version and 5 that is 1.34 is the download version and you have to download this install restart is a mandatory and try launching the game next one if you're on the amd just go over here 
and we have to go over here and we have to go to the submit and from here you will be able to understood if you're on windows 11 you have to download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game if you're on windows 10 we can download this one install and restart is a mandatory and try launch the game as well next one is also sometimes apart from this we need to install the microsoft visual c plus you can download this and install this if the system is based on x64 you can download this one if the system is based on x86 you can download this one install restart as a mandatory and try launch the game last two steps is all about we have to uninstall and reinstall the game for this uninstalling just go over here go to manage and install the game for reinstalling it back what we need to do is not be installing back on the scene from which you uninstall you can try a new local disk so these uh, are the possible work which can be done. There is one more step which I would like to make in notice, which is an important one which can be done in the lab which is all about verify integrity of game file. So just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties click on the installer file and just click on the verify integrity of game file and once afterwards when you do this you know it's going to take a little bit of time and afterwards we just need to I'll be showing you what you need to do. So we just need to wait this to reach 100 percentage because it will be cross-checking every single files of a game and afterwards I'll be showing you what you have to do. Once all files are successfully validated, we just need to close this and we just need to launch the game and that will be working fine. So these are the possible workaround which can be done and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.